Ye. Ye. Yeah. So let's just set face if our audio correct and then we get started. So after this video, you're going to be able to solve a lot of questions here. It's not only that one. Let me show you the questions that we're going to be able to solve. You're going to be able to solve this question right here. This question right here and the face one that I just showed you. Let's go all the way from the beginning. You want to be solve, able to solve this question? This one right here. But uh, hey, while you check the question, let me explain something very, very important, right? Hey, make sure, okay, all this question. Make sure if you need my service, right? Uh, you can direct message me to my Instagram, which goes by Intwana underscore Wabantu on the Instagram. Intwana underscore Wabantu. Or you can direct message me on my email address mtwana wabantu at gmail.com mtwana wabantu at gmail.com everything should be small letters okay be free to message me anytime okay now so i believe we can get started so uh, my name is mtwana wabantu so let's get started with this question right here okay without further ado let's get started with this question right here means you if you got question oh hey I need a feedback because when you guys give me feedback, then I know these are my beautiful family right here who need my help so I can continue to make this type of video. Means if I don't get feedback, then I know, oh, they are, nobody want me to make this type of video. And then I say, okay, well, let me make, let me help other students who oh, give me feedback, right? So you like the video, you share with other people and you give me feedback. Let's get started. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first question say, uh, let's start with the first question all the way. They give us value of A. This is set of A from negative 3 to 3. Set of B equal to that one and set of C equal to that one. Which of the following statements are true? A union C. When they say A union C, mistake A and C, put them together. What does that mean? This and this, let's put them together. So we're going to say A union C equal. Let's put all them together, but it must be in order. What is the smallest number? The smallest number is negative 3. That's the smallest one. So say negative 3. And the next one, look. A and C, right? A union C. Okay. Negative 3. And then, uh, uh, what is the next one? Negative 2, because we don't have a negative number here. It's going to be negative 2. The next one is going to be negative 1. We don't have no number here, negative 1. And then after that, we have a 0 here. A 0. Okay. 0, 1. So, all the A's, 1, 2, 3. After 3, do you have a 4? No, no more 4. Means for A, when you unite with the C, means we don't have no 4. The next one is 5. So, we're going to write 5. And then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 5, 6. Seven, eight, nine. The last one is ten, and then you close. So that's the A union C, and it's true because they say which statement are true. So A is true because the A union C is negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, five, six, seven, to ten. Yes, that's true. Option one is true. Let's go to option B. B intersection C. When they say intersect, means we. If somebody says okay, me and you who are watching this session means we intersect right here in a session. So this is a common thing. So we look between B and C. What is that common term they have? Common. Let's go B and C. It's B and C, right? There is, let's start from smaller. There's a two, there's no two here. There's four, there's no four here. There's six, there's a six. Okay, so six is common for both. Six is common for both. Okay. Eight, yes, eight is common for both. And also eight is common. Okay, so we're gonna say a B. B in a session C means we pick all the common and we say six is common. Eight is common. What else is common? Do you have a ten? Do you have a ten here? Yes. Yes, ten is common. Ten is common because it's in both sides. That's my intersection. Now we go twelve. There's no twelve here. Okay, so these are only uh, common tens, which they intersect. So B and C, the intersection of B and C is six, eight, and ten, which is true. So B is true. Now let's go for C. A intersection B. A and B. What is that they have in common? Let's check A and B. So A and B. We look the because this sign here represent intersection. I could have said it, and this sign here represent union. Means unite them together. That's what we did for the face one. But this N here, like this, means intersection. Means intersection. So that's what we find the common A intersection B. What is the A intersection B? A intersection B. Now we want to find which is common for this A and B. Okay, negative three, no negative three. Negative two, no negative two here. Uh, negative one, no negative one. Now we go for uh zero no zero here one no one here two yes two is common and two is common so the intersection now let's go three no three so a in the section b 
we know for fact that the section is equal to two. So this also is true. And it's okay. So now we come here, they say A, you know B, you know C. So if you say A, you know B, you know C means unite all of them. Okay. How you know A, you know B? Okay. This is union here. You see, it kind of changes. It looks like a U. Union. A, you know B, you know C means put all them together. So I'm going to say A, union, B, you know C. Now let's go all the value. Okay, from A, B, and C, what is the smallest number? Negative 3. And then after the negative 2. And then negative 1. 0. Because everything is okay. Because we put them together. So it means all them together. But I do not repeat something. For example, here, see, there's a 2. You don't have to write 2, 2. No. You only write 1. 0. And then 1. 2. And then 3. So I don't have to write this 2 again. Because it was here, 2. Now, 3, here, 3. Now, what is the next one? 4. And what is the next one? 5. Do you have 5 here? No, but a 5 is here. So I'm going to write a 5. Now 6. Yes, there's 6. Even if it's here, it's not all. As long as it's one side, then it's fine. Because you unite, you put them together. So this is going to be 6. 7. Uh, yes, it's here. So 7. 8. Yes, 8. 9. We just put them together. 9 is 9 here. 10. Yes, there's a 10 here. In... I don't have to write 10 and 10. Only one. 11. No, there's no 11. Do you have 11? No. 10, 10, no 11. So we go for 12. 12 be the last 10. So let's come here and see if it's true. No, it's not true. So this D is not true. So it's A, B, and C. A, B, and C. But here when you come to the option, say only A, they say which is correct. Okay. A is true, B, true, and C is true. But it seems like I made a mistake. What does that mean? Because they say B and D. So we know D, no, it's not true. This is not true. Okay, B and C. Yeah, I'll take B and C. I'll take B and C, but we expected A should be there too. You understand? Mm -hmm. I expected A should be there too. But again, the option, you see, but then this is going to be contradiction. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to recheck again and see where I made a mistake. You understand what I'm saying? That's how you do. So I'm going to pretend like I am student right here to see where I made a mistake, if I made a mistake. But if I had to pick for now, say, this is going to be my option. But now let's check now. Let's do it again quick, quick. I'm going to do very, very fast to see where we made a mistake. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because we get A, B, and C. So that you learn, you can see. I also make mistakes. Now, let's go. So we're going to repeat quick, right? A and C together. What does A and C mean? This union. This is union. Union, union. Because you represent union. A, you know, C means A and C. So when I say A, you know, C. Means put them together, unite them. Okay. A is negative 3. So we're going to say negative 3. Yes, it's part of it. Negative 2, negative 2. Negative 1, negative 1. And then 0, 0. And then 1, 1, and 2. So, and then the last one, three here, because everything in order. Union C, what is that C? C starts from five, we don't have no four. So, we're going to say five, and then six is six, seven is seven, okay, six, five, six, seven, eight. I want to make sure I don't make no mistake. Nine, and then ten, the last one. Now, let's check out here to see if it's correct. Negative three, negative three. Negative two, negative two. Negative one, negative one. Zero, zero. One is one. Two is two. And three is three, and then five, is five, and then six is six. Uh, no, no, it's not true because here we got seven, and here we don't have no seven, so this is not true. So, you see how I made a mistake? So, I made a mistake this one. You see what I'm saying? So, the B and C was true, so A is not true. So, you gotta be very, very careful, right? Okay, so A is not true. So, the answer was B and C was correct, like how pick up because I did not look careful. So I don't think you have to redo again B intersection C if you want I can do it again just for a sake for you learning. B intersection B B intersection B. We say intersect means to have the common. B and C, where do they have a common? B and C, which number they have in common? Let's cancel all the number they have in common, B and C. Uh two, no, it's not common. Okay, because there's no two here. Four, no. There's four here, there's no four there. Okay. Uh five, no. Six, yes, six, yes. So all the common are gonna take them. Yes, six and six. So we're gonna say six is common number means the one that intersect. This sign here means intersect. Okay, six is six. Okay, now we go for seven. Uh six is six. Okay, seven. There's a seven here, but here there's no seven, so that's not a number. Eight, yes. Eight yes, eighty yes. So we're gonna say eighty. Now let's go for nine. Nine is nothing, nine the is, so it means it cannot be. Ten, uh ten, ten, yes. They have a ten, they have a ten. So this is intersecting number, the intersecting. So option B, yes, is true. So B is true. Now let's go for C again. I'm just due for this for your name, okay? 
So now uh, A intersection C means A intersection C means we want to between A and C what that they have in common okay you understand A and C so what is the common here because it's an intersect so intersect A and C okay what is the common A and C okay negative 3 no here yeah, there's no negative 3 negative 2 no negative 2 negative 1 so oh okay 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 they say A and C let's see no 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 I'm wrong A and B A intersection B a intersection B, okay, A intersection B, my pollock. So A intersection B, we want to see the common term. So the common term A intersection B means, uh, what is the common for both? Uh, two, yes, two, and two, and then we go only two. Because here, three, no three here, you see all the negative, there's no negative, there's no zero. So it's only uh, two, two is common for both. So A intersection B, I was wrong, A intersection B, A intersection B, it's just a two. So this is true. So it's going to be B and C. The last one we did try and it was not two. So meaning for this case here, this is going to be our uh, A. This is go option four. Sorry for make mistake. I also make mistake. You see that? I made a mistake right there today. You saw it. So for that being said, man, I want to make this video long, but hey, uh, because it took a lot of time, you know. So watch the next video, so you can learn quick, quick. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, let me do the next one quick, quick. Should I do the next one? Mm -hmm. Time. Let me do it quick, quick, and then I'm going to do it again, okay? So, uh, question number, uh, this question number 2.5. They say, so they give us, this is another way of present your data. Data can be represented in a, uh, in a notation or set builder notation. So, they give this data in set builder notation. Now, they say present this data on a number line. It's very easy. So, what I'm going to say now, let's start with the first one. X are element of real number means X is a real number, but this X must be greater than one. What does that mean? Okay, let's assume this is a number line here with the X line. But hey, look, whenever the number is included, you use this sign here this way or this way, depending if it's greater or less. That means is included. But if you say eh, this is greater or equal, because the right hand is greater or equal, right hand or this side. Less or equal, left side. Let's say less or equal. Now, if it's just a greater, you don't put this stuff here at the bottom. Or if it's left, you don't put that stuff at the bottom. So for this case, if you can check in third builder notation right here, they say x a real number, but this x is including or greater than one. What does that mean? Let's assume this is one here. Let's assume this is one, but it's including. See this sign here? It's like this, look, greater or equal. So including one means like this, let's say here. Let's say let's just assume let's say this is zero. Let's say this is one. But we don't have to write a number. Let's see, let's just put our number. Let's say this is zero. So if this is one, it's gonna be including the number. But if it's excluding the it with nothing inside the dot. But if this is including the same number line, you put it so in that. But where it's gonna be heading to which direction is greater than one means if this is one, it's gonna be like this. Okay, so this is like x is greater than or equal to one now they say also x is excluding eight x is excluding eight but a bigger than eight do you understand what i'm saying now we want to say okay let's write another number line okay i'm going to put the number line at the bottom here oh let's just put here on top um yeah let's just do here so number line is going to be here. Oh, that's going to be dead. Okay, let's just put it top or right here. Let me put it. Okay, so how do we say x is greater? No, 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 no. They say eight is greater than x. What does that mean? In other, you can flip. You can say x is less than eight. You can flip x is less than. Eight. So what does that mean? This is one, right? Let's assume this is eight, but it's excluding one. Right? So you do like this. So it's less than eighty means like this must be less than that. But I don't know where it's must have. So what do they want to do? They say end day. The word end day meaning intersection. If somebody say end means intersection. If they use word O means union. Remember. So we want to put this together. Means we want to combine this together because we want to find where do they have in common. So where they have in common, we know for text you start from. Look, look, let's, let's do this. Because it go all the way, we don't know where it's gonna stop at me. Okay, let's do this. So meaning, let me, let me do this. 
So we're going to say now. So I'm going to say now, let, let me draw my line. So my line is going to be like this. So this word end means put them together. If you say A and B, if you say A and B, in other way, in map, in map it's like say A intersection B. If you say A or B, that meaning A union B. So they say this one and that one means that's an intersection. So where do they have is going to have in common? What are they going to have in common? Start from here all the way to here. Because here, no, they don't have in common. They start from here all the way and this is go all the way to there. So we're going to say, well, so if I had to draw a number line, I'm going to say start from uh, one possibly because remember this is one, one, but including because it's including. And then to eight because it starts from eight for the next one is eight. But eight is excluding the member. So start from eight excluding. So this is going to be our answer for number line. So it's going to be from start from one to eight. If you want to write a set builder notation, for example, so, oh, that's a number line we agree. Write is a set builder notation. It's a set builder notation. I'm going to write like this. Look, I'm going to say x. Let me write black, black pen. I say x. Uh, x of element number whereby that x start from one to eight. I'm going to say one, but a one is including. I write my x, but a eight is excluding, and this will be set builder notation. So for that being said, now let's go to the option. Which option would be that? We know protect this control option here. So why not? One, one, eight, eight, exclude, exclude. So that's gonna be my answer. For that being said, man, look, um, I don't want to make this video too boring or too long, but I here watch this video and then I'm gonna solve all this question. Okay, stay tuned. So I'm gonna put part one, part two, part three in here. Like I said, you learn from me, right? You learn from me, you got any question, any opinion, feel free to leave a comments below. You can learn from me. I can learn from you. Okay. And yeah, if you want my service, man, feel free. Uh, send me direct message to Mtwana underscore Bantu. Okay. Mtwana underscore Bantu to my Instagram. And you can email me, right? If you got some serious business, Mtwana Wabantu at a gmail.com. Small letter, right? Mtwana Wabantu at a gmail.com. Feel free to inbox me anytime. If you need my number, you can email me. I'm going to provide to you only for serious business people, right? No time wasted. You know we work, right? But well, I've been saying, man, thanks a lot of your time. And I'm going to see you soon. Hey, hey, easy. Peace.